So Teresa is asking, if 500 people witnessed Jesus alive after the crucifixion and the scriptures state that they're still with us today, then where are they? Since it basically says they're alive. Teresa, my friend, that is a great question. And to that, I would say, I think um, you might be having, I want to say a, a confusion between two verses, but I want to... Um, go with you into the Bible and just kind of explain a, a, a few things really quick. So if you go with me to the book of 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 through 5. So 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 through 5. And so I'll go ahead and start reading that there. Uh, and the Bible reads... Sorry, having some technical issues here. Okay, and so it says in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3, it said, For I, uh, and this is Paul speaking, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. So Jesus was seen of these people after his resurrection. Keep going in verse 6. It says, after that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remained unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. So if you um, read this verse, uh, or these verses, it's saying that, you know, Jesus was revealed to at least 500 people. And it said some have remained into this present, meaning the present time that Paul wrote that scripture. So not present time as in today, today to, you know, 2021, but back in about, what would that be? Um, like, you know, 50 AD or something like that, you know, uh, back after Jesus had been resurrected. So at that time it says, but some are fallen asleep. So some had also passed away. So some time had passed and some of these people had passed away. So these are the 500 people I believe you're referring to. Um, but again, the, they are not alive and present with us today. They are, were alive and present until Paul spoke of them in his time, which was sometime quite a few years after um, Jesus had resurrected and already had gone back up to heaven. So, um, as far as, you know, understanding that, you know, Jesus had people that were eyewitnesses, there definitely were hundreds of eyewitnesses, but not all of them um, stayed alive or none of them stayed alive, you know, past the a person's lifetime. So that's, I think, um, maybe a simple explanation for that Bible question. Any other thoughts, guys? Yeah, I mean, I think we're just, we have Paul writing a letter to people and he's speaking the truth as of that time that day when he wrote the letter it's like if i write wendy and tell her today um you know those of us on this show are alive today and you know if something happened tomorrow well it doesn't mean i was a liar today and so i mean that's that's what's going on it's just he was talking about at that moment to those people and there's other parts in the bible where it talks about oh you know you could go to this the, today as of today you could go in this spot and see such and such a place such and such a alter such a such a thing that was true at that time maybe not anymore doesn't mean the bible's lying 